All right, guys. Got the chipper all back together. Um, it did run. It ran on um, starting fluid, just a little blast in the carb. And it didn't seem to leak any oil for the couple seconds it ran, so I reassembled all of it. Um, we are missing a few bolts, but nothing too big right there. Um, it's got a broken bolt in the air housing, so that's going to have to be fixed at some point. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it on, on gas in the tank. Uh, setting the carburetor on the, not the carburetor, the governor gear on this engine was a real nightmare. Um, the instructions in the Briggs manual are pretty much horrible. Um, you know, usually they just say, hold the governor arm, turn the governor, rotate the governor counterclockwise, clockwise, push the arm all the way to the left, and then tighten the bolt, you know, or push it to wide open throttle and then tighten the uh, nut. But this one, it's just not smart how they did it. Um, also, I'm not sure if I have the valve set correctly. Um, you know, it, the manual I had for it online, it said um, 0.04 to 0.06, I think, on the intake. And then you have to be a quarter inch past top dead center to do the exhaust valve at, I think it was 0.9 to 0.12. So I did that 0.10. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if that's exactly right, but it doesn't hit the valve, so whatever. And it did run on it, so, you know, we'll try it, see what happens. Uh, you guys saw the dent in the piston and the ding in the top of the head, so it could very well, if it heats up, it might crack the piston, but hopefully not. Um, I sharpened the shredder blade on it. Uh, the chipper blades look pretty good, so I left those alone. I can always take it back apart again and uh, re resharpen that stuff if it does run good. Uh, it's full of oil right now. It's got a mix of 30 weight and 10W30. Uh, it should have straight 30 in it, but I didn't have any. So again, if I run it, I'm probably not going to run it very long because I don't want it to overheat. Uh, that's what happens in small engines. If you use the multi-viscosity oils, they heat up faster. Um, straight 30 is a heavier weight oil, and that's what they're really designed to run on. Uh, some of the older ones, depending on the motor, they can run on all different oils, actually. Uh, I have an old Wisconsin, it runs on uh, 1030, as recommended for it, which is nice, and it uses a quart, which is awesome. This uses 20 ounces. Um, I did find that the these Intec Briggs, uh, OHV Briggs, they're very, very, very similar to the Hondas. Um, the, what is it, the GX or the GVXs or whatever. You know, they have the red pull start, uh, white tank. The setup on this is almost identical. It's kind of funny. Um, so I don't know who copied who there, but uh, this one's very, very clean. Um, very low hours, I would say. And definitely stored in a garage. I mean, all the fasteners are real nice and everything like that, as I had said. Um... So the only piece I'm really missing, aside from the chute plug that you use to push things down, is the, um, there's a shroud that bolts on here and uses these kind of wing nuts and you can adjust it so you can, you know, pitch where your chippings go. Uh, I'll probably just fabricate something out of, um, I'll probably fabricate something out of sheet metal or maybe plastic, I'm not sure yet for that and then underneath there it looks like there's holes in the in the plate down there I wonder if it used to have rubber feet uh, that it would sit on to keep it up high like this uh, I might fabricate some kind of triangulated hitch so I can hook it on my tractor and just tow it to where I need it uh, it's, it's actually pretty easy to roll but it's kinda awkward so I got some extra steel to play around with and you know I'm still trying to get good at welding so it might just be a fun little quick job to do um, I'm going to pull it over now. You're going to hear there's fingers in here that are for the shredder to clear it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a plate right here with three prongs, and then on the wheel inside there's three fingers that go through those grooves. So you're going to hear those clanking in there. Um, but 
it's not the motor clanking. I'll pull it over a few times just so you can see that it does actually pull over freely now. Those are those fingers. Okay, clearly we're not on our blocks down there. Missing a couple bolts here and there, uh, you know. Like I said, I think I think what happened with this is they took it to the local small engine shop, and the guys at the shop pulled the valve cover off, couldn't find anything wrong in there, and so they assumed that it broke a connecting rod or a piston or something. And at that point, they they found that it was not worth, uh, you know, investigating further. I'm sure that's what they told the customer. So they just threw everything in a box and the guy must have picked it up, brought it home, and then maybe was looking for a replacement motor or something, just gave up on it and put it out. And then I got it. Um, had they taken the head off and found out that there was a little piece of a screw head in there that was jamming everything up, you know, I don't know. They might have put a piston in it and called it good. They might have still told him he needs a new motor. Um, like I said, I'm going to run it, see what happens. So... That's it guys, that's the chipper, and tomorrow I'm going to try to start it. Um, hopefully that governor doesn't cause me any grief, because it does, it sure doesn't seem right to me. Uh, you know, I did it by the directions about five times, I played with it, did it different ways, and, you know, it doesn't seem right, but, you know, if that's what it calls for, that's what it calls for. I'm just going to be real careful when I start it, and if it over revs, you know, just uh, choke it out or something, or try to, you know, kill it with the coil. Um, but hopefully it works out good. And uh, we should have, I'll do a startup video tomorrow when I do get it outside. And if it does actually idle and throttle as it's supposed to, um, Maybe I'll throw a stick or two through it and just see what it does. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to run it too much till I figure out if that rear main seal on the crankshaft seal there is um, burn up and leaking. If it if it's not leaking, then again, um, I might put a head gasket in it and use it for the season and then try to sell it come fall. So, we'll see. Alright guys, video tomorrow.